Literally one day before Mortal Kombat 1 becomes playable, and we finally have gameplay footage of Shang Tsung. That's right, NetherRealm Studios literally waited until the final 24 hours to debut their pre-order bonus. It's a bold strategy, Cotton, let's see if it works out for him. No, but seriously, what a strange day, and to make things even weirder, Mortal Kombat 1 hasn't launched yet. So, why is there a launch trailer? The game's not officially out until September 18th. This whole situation really is weird, but you know what, at least I have a really cool trailer to react to. And real quick, can I get a like for not copying every single other reaction thumbnail on YouTube right now? I mean, that sounds fair to me for being a bit more original than everybody else. So yeah, give me that like. Do it, do it, coward. Do it, you won't do it. I'm just kidding. But do make sure you subscribe. That way you stay up to date on Mortal Kombat 1 news. Ring that bell so you don't miss any future videos. And without any further ado, let's watch this amazing trailer. All right, here we go. Finally, some Shang Tsung gameplay. Impress me. Having and show me Reiko too. Uh huh. Peace. Looks so as pretty. As I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fengjian. Is it so wrong to want some excitement? Yes. Dangerous. <laughs> the time draws near for the Picture cabbage. There he is. There's the guy. Is that Shujinko? It has begun. That's also Shujinko. <laughs> oh, finally, some more Molina and Kung Lao gameplay. Woo! <laughs> I'm always so hyped to see new stuff from Melina. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh, finally some more Scorpion. Oh, he stole his move. That's what he does. He steals moves. Oh my god. You are woefully hmm. unprepared, Earthrealm. There he is, finally. <laughs> Actual non-bootleg footage. <laughs> and it looks like war paint instead of being tattooed. Okay, very cool. Oh, MMA? Yes! Okay, straight into fatal blow. Big ol' headbutt. We've seen Darius already. Big knee break. Oh god. Let's go, Reiko. Spear? Okay. Oh! Slash him. Oh, it broke in half. That's cool. It's like a double-bladed weapon. It's a staff that splits in half. Then we have Jatara, of course. Really cool. I love that air dash cancel. That's so sick, dude. She's buffed. You can relaunch with that? Oh my god. Yeah, Natara's a day one main. I'm sorry. Yep, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Will they finally show customization in this trailer, though? Man, this has mega hit written all over it. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Boom. <laughs> there you go. New ways to fight. What is it? Finally, invasion. <laughs> That's so funny. Ooh. Oh, it's Puggles the Bat. He's back. <laughs> bam! Rawr. Uh, bam! All right, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Spoils in this war. Let us win it first, brother. <laughs> I will aid I'm gonna take some stuff. That is totally behind though, because in the One Sub Zero game, he was like looting everything. The symptoms of your disease could manifest. Katana will take your place. Aww. There are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. Aww. Your race can shift. Poor Molina is so insecure. Oh, Barack is like, how do you do that? How do you shape shift? I am your deliverer, Shang Song. Join ah. me, and I will put the realms yep. at your feet. Giving him magical your stuff. I called it. Destiny. Yeah! Finally! Give us the gameplay. Ooh, scratches everywhere. The triple fireball, but he's immune because he has the um, cameo buff. Wait, he's, oh, it's old man Shang Tsung. Oh, he transformed. There it is. Wait, when did he do that? Did he even do the soul as mine or did he just copy it? There's the victory animation. Oh, it's the intro. My bad. Oh, no. Don't kill him again. He already died in the first trailer. Come on. Oh, Shao Kahn, why? Reiko, no. Not with his own arm. Stop hitting yourself, Johnny Cage. We're seeing all the fatality number twos right now. Oh my god. Pull him in half. Yep. Oh jeez. Kung Lao really trusts his hat. That was sick. Okay. Yeah! On the operating table! Let's go! Oh, is that the acid? He is kind of an alchemist. Okay. Makes sense. He's kind of a scientist in this game. I like it. The flesh pits all makes perfect sense. Yeah, not a ton of Shang Tsung gameplay. The only thing I want to see again, honestly, is when he turned into the opponent. I didn't see when he had time to do that. Like, when did he actually have time to do the soul is mine? I didn't see it. Can he just transform whenever he wants to now? That would be insane. 
the triple fireball is back. I love that. Wait, he turned old right there? Yeah, he didn't take his soul, I don't think. He can just do it. Look at that. Oh, he did. He stuck the vials in him, and that makes him transform. Okay. Yeah, um, so for anyone not aware, there was a different description for Reptile that kind of leaked some story stuff, so I won't spoil it here. But let's just say that Shang Tsung does not transform by taking your soul anymore. Instead, it looks like he takes your DNA and can actually change himself at the cellular level. Why do you become old, though? <laughs> What's the benefit of that? <laughs> That's really fascinating because in story mode, we've seen in chapter 1 that Shang Tsung is young. He's no longer fighting the effects of aging. He is a young guy who wears makeup and a fake beard to look old. So what is happening here? Why is he turning old in the middle of his gameplay? Shang Tsung is so fascinating in this trailer. Melina was the most hyped part for me, personally. We didn't see very much of Reiko. Why does... Why does Netherrealm hate Reiko? He's gotta be in the combat cast stream now, right? We haven't seen anything for Reiko, like barely anything at all. There seems to be projectiles on those scratches, or I could just be, like, looking too much into it. I love that punish. That fireball extender is so sick, by the way. That is so 3D era. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shang Tsung looks really cool. Let's let's watch Reiko again, because I didn't see very much of Reiko, like, at all. All I saw was, like, a slide and a tackle. Okay, big launcher. Big slide. And then he came back. Were those two different moves? Slide. I think they're two separate moves, which is really cool if so. I do like that from what we've seen, and I do mean from what very little we've seen, Reiko does appear to be the MMA expert, which is really cool to me. I love that. I like that he's the grapple, boxer, kind of ground and pound dude that's really sick. And wait a minute, I think Darius did something different with his cameo. I think it changes. Watch. Because he always had the kick move, but... Oh, wait, that's different. Never mind. That's a different kick move, isn't it? Yeah, my bad. I got really excited and thought for a second that um, it was the same cameo assist that Garrus used, but it changes based on who's using uh, Darius. But it looks like that's not the case, and I got too excited. Yeah, this trailer was pretty good. It still didn't show any customization. Netherrealm, what are you doing? We know this game has customization and a bunch of costumes. Why are you keeping that hidden from us? We want to see it. Show us all the cool stuff you can actually do in this game. This feels like such a short trailer. It's not, though. It's four minutes. And I will put the rest. Is that Chronica's crown or is that like Onaga's crown? I'm gonna assume it's Onaga's crown, which is crazy. Okay, the experiments don't appear to be on. For anyone not aware, this stage does have two modes. It has like flesh pit on and experiments off. <laughs> so here the experiments look off. You can turn them on though, which is crazy. I wonder what they do in the background. They probably just run around and act all crazy. Wait, Cheng Sung's bio is out already? Let's go ahead and read that. Let's go! The scheming sorcerer. So he is still a sorcerer and not an alchemist. That was the theory some people had in the comments section, and I would have loved if Shang Sung was an alchemist, but him still being a sorcerer is also cool. Shang Sung grew up in Outworld's backwaters, too lazy for hard labor and too shifty for honest work. He ecked out a living selling quack cures and fake magic. Though his wares were useless, Shang Sung's easy charm always Always closed the deal. Shang Tsung was resigned to this hard scrabble life, but then one day a mysterious stranger came, promising to make Shang Tsung a powerful sorcerer. Though suspicious of the offer, it was one he couldn't refuse. Alright, and there you have it. We finally know the new origin of the original final boss in the Mortal Kombat series. And honestly, it makes a lot of sense. Liu Kang did not want Shang Tsung to have access to sorcery, so he made him live in a backwater area. However, that's not what I would have done if I was the god of the universe like Liu Kang. Kang is. Instead, I would have kept Shang Tsung close and make him my secretary or something. And I would treat him super nice too. As the expression goes, keep your enemies closer than your friends. But then again, I believe in nurture over nature, right? I don't think people are born evil, whereas in Mortal Kombat 1, it seems to be the opposite. Like some people are just always bad. But yeah, that's how I would do things. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. How would you stop Shang Tsung from becoming evil? Like I keep saying in every single video, I truly do read each comment. So grab that keyboard and make your voice is heard. And then while you're down there, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. It really does help my channel out a ton. And finally, finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell. That way you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time. And as always, stay underdogs.